This week marks the 39th anniversary of the U.S. Supreme Court decision on Roe v. Wade, the decision that ultimately allows abortion in the United States. It's not just a United States issue. This is an issue that's around the world, and it has changed the world. The death of these infants, these fetuses, has been remarkable. People in the United States have estimated 58 million or more have been aborted since that ruling came about. It's really been a devastation, and the effects worldwide cannot be minimized. Yesterday, we mentioned that this uh, passing of the 39th anniversary puts us into the 40th year. And 40 in the Bible has uh, always been associated with a period of testing or trial or judgment. And one has to wonder if this is a significant thought for us as we look at this, this passage here, because history shows us any civilization that has practiced infanticide at that level uh, ceases to exist in time. Archaeologists have uncovered cemeteries in the ancient city of Carthage on the North African coast, where it was very clear were buried the uh, skeletal, the remains of infants uh, who had been killed in some type of a ritual sacrifice connected with a pagan antiquity. And Carthage was destroyed. In the Bible, we find where even one of the kings of Judah at one point set up an altar to the god Molech near Jerusalem and sacrificed children. Mm -hmm. uh, that sin, great in the eyes of God, accelerated the downfall of his own nation, Israel, Judah at that time. And so the lessons of history are very important for us to consider, and the scriptural teaching to choose life is extremely important. Mm -hmm. And I think governments that allow this sort of thing will be held accountable to God. And so can we just rely on some governmental decision to impact our personal lives, or are we personally responsible as well? And I think when you bring it down to a personal level, we, we can't ignore what it says in Deuteronomy chapter 30, because we have a great God who is on our side, and he's a God who stands for life. Deuteronomy 13, and it says in verse uh, 15, it says, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil. And the amazing part about our God is he just doesn't say, well, good luck deciding what to do. He tells us, therefore, choose life. Choose life, God says. Don't choose the cursing. Don't choose the destruction, but choose life. And that's what God wants for all of us, to choose that life that he has in mind for us. Now, we're not going to exhaust this subject in our Beyond Today dailies, but we do want to cover one more aspect of this, and that is how to deal with uh, someone who has had an abortion and how they should understand themselves in their relationship with God today because uh, we certainly want to give some hope on that regard. So our next one, we will cover that subject. All right. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.